Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Ryan Driscoll, and today we're talking about higher order components. So, higher order components, uh, does that name sound somewhat familiar? Um, really should. Remember that React components are simply functions. They have properties and methods which render DOM elements and other components with added functionality. Um, so, it should remind you of higher order functions. Um, we all know that higher order function is a function that accepts another function as an argument, and it return, or maybe it returns another function as a result. Uh, they're really useful for wrapping existing functions uh, that you can't change the behavior of. Um, good examples of this would be, of course, like reduce, map for each. We all know um, a lot of these higher order functions. So, um, why do we love them? Like, what's so great about them? Um, Number one is that they, uh, you know, they reduce the size and complexity of uh, some of your functions by abstracting out some of the, um, the things that they do. Um, they're a lot easier to read and uh, reason about. Um, really well-named higher order functions uh, tell a story about your code, which really helps. Um, and also they end up introducing fewer bugs. Um, so if you think about like a for loop that, uh, loops through an array and console logs out uh, the values. Um, you know, obviously we know the straight up for loop way, but when you're using for each, it's just a lot more readable. You say array for each, um, don't pay any attention to that. Um, array for each number, we want to console log the number. So it's just a lot easier to read, a little bit easier to deal with. So uh, React components, let's talk about those. Um, so remember what makes uh, React components so special. Um, uh, number one, basically they're functions, which is pretty great. Um, they are reusable, so you can use them, uh, similar components in multiple positions uh, across your application, and are a lot easier, easier to maintain for that reason too. You're just reusing the same component. Um, so I want you to imagine that you have like very different components across your application. You know, one's a button, one's a label, um, an image, um, but maybe you want them to have the same functionality. Like, how would you reuse some of that functionality? And finally, we get to higher order components. Um, they're basically just higher order functions that take a component as an argument and return a new component or a modified component that's wrapped with additional functionality, um, additional methods or properties. Um, so how does it look? Um, so as you can see here, it really is as simple as just react, uh, wrapping a React class uh, with a function that takes a component uh, that you want to add this functionality to. So in this situation that I've coded out, um, basically we want to uh, use this higher order component random position to wrap whatever component we pass in there with um, uh, a new position. Uh, this is actually going to give a random position. So the top and left uh, position properties uh, are set to a random uh, viewport uh, uh, position. So, and then we're going to return at the end in our render uh, the component that we passed in with the style set to the position that we have here. So let's look at an example real quick. So I'm going to, yeah, let's see what we have here. Is this big enough? Can I make it a little bigger? Here we go. So in this example, we have um, a component that is an image that I have called Ryan Head. Um, the position is going to be uh, uh, props.position, and then I've got these other things that you don't have to worry about right away. But um, if we look at like our main application, uh, main React component. Um, it's got a count on state and an increment count uh, uh, function, reset the count, and basically all it's going to do is that every time I click on the button, it's going to add a component onto, uh, uh, into, the, into the DOM. Um, so what we have here is um, my Riot Head component right now its position is like at, the, you know, in the top left corner. But I've created that same component I showed you before, random position, this uh, higher order component, that will take my Ryan head 
uh, wrap it with this functionality that's giving it this position, this random position, and it's going to return it on the DOM there. So if everything, and then so um, in order to use it, I uh, declare another variable extended Ryan head, and basically I'm just taking random position, that higher order component that I just showed you, and passing in my Ryan head component. And so down here, yeah, and I do have it on there. So let's look at it and see that it worked. Uh, where is my... Um, is it somewhere else? Yeah, this needs to go over here. Jeez, come on, buddy. Let's do that. There we go. Okay, great. So now, when I click on this button, we're going to get Ryan's head popping up in random spots all over the window, which is great. You know, that's exactly what we wanted to happen. Um, let's also, though, think about um, some of these other cool component or um, animation uh, higher order components that I've made. Maybe we want this component to also fade in every time we click on it. So um, I actually like, um, over the break, I really explored um, this uh, GSAP, GSAP, Green Sock um, Productions or something like that. It's a guy's animation library, and he uses these functions tween max and tween light that make it really easy to do these, uh, these animations. Like this one is just going to make the opacity, when the component mounts, it'll make the opacity zero, and then it'll slowly fade in to opacity of one over the course of 0.3 seconds. So if I want to implement this on my component that I've already made and don't want to do a whole lot else too, all I have to do is pass in my fade in uh, higher order component and wrap this extended component in fade in. And let's see what happens. So let's look at this and refresh. And now he's popping up, but he's fading in nicely. Cool. Um, I got a lot more animation components here. Let's try this uh, 3D effect real quick. So another very simple thing to do, wrap it. Uh, what was it called? Effect 3D. And all of a sudden, now we got them fading in and zooming in and out. Really pretty cool. Um, let's do some more. It's really fun. Uh, <laughs> um, another thing we could do is, uh, so we have this uh, uh, component here. Um, let's say that we wanted something that's completely different, like a label. So um, let's say const uh, label equals props. Okay, and we're going to return a label tag. Um, it's going to have style as, we wanted to give it a random position as well. Okay, and let's say that when we uh, click it, that it does props.jump. Okay. So that all looks good. Oh, except for that I need to put something in the label. It happens to be my birthday today. So I'm going to say happy birthday. Yeah, I know. Not convenient. Um, and then close off the label tag. And everything else looks good. So now I want to uh, create an extended label. And it's going to do it on label. Oops. And let's still fade it in. Let's, yeah, why not? We'll do the uh, effect 3D as well. But let's also give it that jump property that I wanted. Um, so I'm adding that higher order. Uh, component there, and now I just need to make sure that it renders. So let's do extended uh, label. Let's give it a higher key just to, oops, so React doesn't yell at us. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but okay. Um, 
Now, if we refresh this, yay, we got happy birthdays popping up. If I click on it, it jumps around. Really cool. So that is basically it. Um, I had a lot of other cool um, animations that I made, like, what else did I do? Uh, flip. But um, that seems like enough, I guess. And I also have like a cool dinosaur component I could throw in there. But that does seem like enough, because I do want to tell you a little bit more about the future of um, higher order components. Um, and the easier way to do it, and I could just do this from here, um, and that is um, to use uh, ES7 decorators. So this is basically um, something that's coming out in ES7, and um, it's, it's basically a way of making these higher order components or higher order functions uh, a lot easier. The syntax is just, it's, it looks really cool. So here's just a basic example of how it would work. Um, so you would have this decorator that you declare um, that's just a function, and it takes a target uh, uh, function, and uh, it can decorate it with these properties or methods or something like that. And the way that you use it is just, you just simply do put this at sign and the name of the decorator, so at dog abilities, and then just directly underneath it, you just put class, the class that you want to decorate. Um, so in this case, if you console logged my dog .favorite games, it would get that fetch property uh, from the dog abilities decorator. So those are higher order components. Uh, I hope you use them in your React apps because they're a really great way to strip out some functionality and reuse it. And that's it.